presenter on TVNZ New, part-time comedian and full-time woman. Break with the finger. I'm also the president, vice president and treasurer of the Robbie Magasiva fan club and I'm finally hosting Fresh. What, only took like two seasons. Whatever, I don't want to go on about it guys, but it took you a while. Anyway, we're going to have a bit of a tour of TVNZ and perhaps spot a few celebrities and touch their faces. Hopefully, let's go. But first, let's have a look at what's coming up on today's show. Some special advice from your favourite aunties. Cool, nah, Mira. Oh, that was phenomenal. And working with her is like, you know, a jigsaw puzzle, a hand in a glove, and all those types of cliches. Some mythical moments from Lima Productions. Man, she's freaky. Okay, so the first step is we need to get through security. Now, I'm a bit of a minor celebrity around these parts, so it'll be okay. I know them really well. I went to a barbecue once with them. It was really cool. I got... Hey, man, how hey. you going? Good, thank Mark, you. Mark, yeah. what's going on? Is there a go through? Uh, who are you? Rose. Rose? Rose? I do, I do the show in the hallway. No, I don't know you, sorry. The well, you, you just take a seat and okay. I'll give them a call. How's that? Okay. Okay? Yeah. Okay then. Thank you. Um, I guess we have a little time while we wait. So you guys can go check out some summer sounds from Bella Kalolo, uh, Aradna, and Shea Fu, the guy with the backpack. Love him. I think I'm related to him. We're gonna make it a nightclub right here. You tell me something up here. Hey. Never knew the cost of living works without no play. Welcome to Harvey. What's up, Fresh? What's good? <laughs> well, we're chilling backstage. We're on the More FM Summer Vineyard Tour for 2013. That's what it is. It is what it is. I heard that she was on. So it was a rap. I was there. <laughs> Pretty much. Back at school, I had a group of girls and we, had, we used to have a singing group. And we used to sing all her songs back in the days. And I was like, this is a privilege to be on stage with him. So, you know, I Shock thought girl. I should just let you know. Tell them the wind blows, thoughts of refrain. As long as I'm nimble, I'll locate your name. How is my sheep? Stop on my way. Yeah, yeah. This love is simple, nourishment for soul. Distance will strengthen until it's who I hold. Music is one language to us, you know, like, you know, it was pretty easy. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, like, working with her is like, you know, Jigsaw puzzle, a hand in the glove, and all those types of cliches. <laughs> and the other thing is, like, I'm a huge fan, so is my whole family, so it's like, it's been crazy. It's been crazy working with her. Like. Way too much fun, man. You know, it's all like Vineyard City, so, you know, we gotta sample the wine, we gotta make sure it's late, you know. The types of crowds that we get at these types of shows, they are a little different than we're sort of used to. You know you're fresh when you're from Pepper you know you're fresh when you've had frozen yogurt in the vineyards. special to me, I can't lie. When they do their thing, it gets me every time. In terms of, did we have to change our, our set? I did, sort of, because usually I do like a mixture of singing and, and rap music. I kind of just hit the summer singing vibe for this one for myself. Brad's Brad, like we're crazy for the acoustic thing. I was just trying to do what I felt like yeah, singing. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's what I was doing. <laughs> Fresh when you go 
got a red net to sign you. You know, at first we didn't know there was a vineyard out south. Wake up, wake up, get up. Hey, you know, like you know, my name is Shea Fruit. I'm kicking it with my girl Reds here. We're on the Moore FM Summer Vineyard Tour 2013. We out. What's up, Fresh? Boom. Boom. Stop wasting time. Well, hello there. We're here on the Good Morning Kitchen set, and I'm about to do something very exciting. Now, the Road Magaceva fan club is having a meeting next week the celebration because our membership has doubled. That's right, now we've got two people. So, I'm gonna show you today how to make a Robbie cake. Let's go through the ingredients. Some beef flavored stock and seasoning, cause he's a beefy guy. Paprika, cause he's on fire. Brown sugar, that's what I want from Robbie. Flour and milk. Nothing really metaphorical about these ones. These are just uh, really good things to have in a cake. That's ready. You're gonna have a beautiful cake that I prepared earlier. There we go. Get a shot of that. Please get a shot of that. That's good, isn't it? Isn't that beautiful? Hey, Made um, those myself. I'm hey, Jeanette. What are you doing it's in like... the kitchen? This is um. This is this is a good morning kitchen. I um. I thought I told, I I definitely sent an email. No, because we've got weird. some chefs that need. Do you even know how to like use the induction? No, I, or, I do. Or anything in here? I mean, I know I'm not French. I, I know you guys like French chefs. That's oh, Robbie. He's very cute. That's actually he? a really important um, decoration. I'm actually going to need, need you to leave because we really? have got people that, that's that, fine. that need to use the kitchen. Seriously. Oh, I'd love a slice. Or, okay. or maybe even just another one of those. Okay, don't take those. Cool. We're going to go to the break okay. um, and I'm going to get out of here. See you, I'll Seriously. see you later. Cool. Honestly, we're busy. Things to do, honestly. More important shows. The way I rebelled was uh, listening to Burt Bacharach. This is where I check my hair and my makeup. This is my makeup room. Jar man, jar man. Uh, excuse me. Yeah. Are you German? Yeah, I'm so German. I'm German too. Oh, oh. Yeah, who's in Weigenslagen? Oh, Sprachen Sie Deutsch? Ah, we're German. Yeah. Und. I want to German with you. All right, yeah. My name is Rose Matafeo, and this is my world. My world. Welcome back to New Live. Yeah. I was born on the 25th of February 1992, right here at my house. I get my Samoan side from my dad and my Croatian and Scottish side from my mum, which is where I get a little nose bump. That was, that was courtesy of my Croatian forefathers. I often say that I'm the world's worst Samoan because I went to Bayfield, where there was literally two Two Samoan kids, I think. My mum and dad met uh, through 12 tribes of Israel, which is um, the uh, Rastafarian kind of denomination in Auckland. They're, they're both Rasta, and, and I grew up um, in, in, the, in, in the 12 tribes. It's such a weird thing to say because my parents are so cool and they're dreadlocked and they listen to awesome, cool, like they go to drum and bass gigs or reggae gigs and I sit at home listening to Coast. Like, they're the coolest parents. They're Rastafarian, for goodness sakes. Rose, in my uh, opinion, is, is the most amazingly youthful, beautiful 91-year-old woman living inside the frame of a 21-year-old I've ever met. She's um, yeah. obsessed with Burt Bacharach. I hated reggae. It was all I was exposed to when I was younger. Like, everything was reggae. And of course, like, you know how people, kids always rebel against their parents, whatever their parents did. The way I rebelled was uh, listening to Burt Bacharach. This is where I check my hair and my makeup. This is my makeup room. When I was 15, I did this program that the Comedy Festival puts on called Class Comedians. It's like a comedy boot camp. By the end, when we did a show with five minutes of stand-up, I um, I managed like to win the like the Nail It on the Night award, which was awesome because I was just 
the quietest, meekest, most scared, nervous person. So we got a few nerves going on at the back because it is fresh comedy night here tonight. So um, Rose Matafeo, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Hit me. She's an incredible talent, man. Like, seriously, 21 years old. She started stand-up comedy when she was three and was slaying audiences by the time she was four. It's incredible. And he'll be like, doste, 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 Ecto Romeo. <laughs> and they start laughing. <laughs> it gives you a good skill set, I guess. And um, definitely, uh, I'd love to start in comedy, doing stand-up, and, and get into, you know, more writing and, and eventually winning my Oscar. So that's going to be a good day. Welcome back to you live, and we've got Tom Cruise coming in like in a matter of seconds. He's nearly here. The chopper has just landed, and I don't know. Oh. Here he is. Here he is. I well, I got the job at you uh, through, I think comedy. I think and the first thing I ever shot with her was, funnily enough, a video about this strange character that was strangely obsessed with cats. This is called Feline Fine. This is my show about cats because I like cats. She is going to be the cat lady when she's like 80, 100 cats in her house, smashed windows. Apparently, that got me a job when really it probably sh I should, probably should have just been escorted outside by security. Say goodbye to Tom Cruise. Uh, we're going to play a bit of Flow Rider, of, of course, by Tom Cruise. Thanks for coming. Goodbye. My parents are just co so completely supportive and lovely, and they would just you know, push me into whatever uh, direction that I, you know, had an interest in. Mom and daughter. Hey. Smile, smile. Yeah, yeah. I'm smiling. Yeah, she's got, smile, not drive like, um, like I'm gonna get to the top or anything, but just that I'm gonna have a go. And she's on TV now, that's how I get to spend my quality time with her. <laughs> I turn her on the TV and it's like, hey Rose, cause you know, she's in and out of the house all the time and hardly see her, so yeah. I'm excited, I wanna go, I wanna go overseas. I want to write a TV show. I want to write a movie. I want to do it all, guys. And I'm, and I'm gonna do it all. Cue inspirational music. Now, don't go away, we're gonna to go to the break, but after the break, we're gonna have Pani and Pani, my two favorite ladies called Pani. Cardio. Cardio. Hey. Ah, cardio. Yeah, cardio. Yeah, yeah, cardio. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Ow. Hello there, and welcome back to Fresh News. Fun fact. If you say anything in this kind of news voice, people think that you're legit and know what you're talking about. Let's have a look at Rose over at the weather to see the rest of the show's forecast. Rose? Thanks, Rose. Coming up on the show, we've got our favourite advice-giving aunties, Pani and Pani. Wait, no, sorry, I didn't want that photo to come up. That's crazy, who programmed that? Who got that candid photo of me and Robbie Mangasiva? That's crazy. <laughs> come on, Pani and Pani, play. No, don't look. Don't take a photo of that. There, my darlings, how are you again? Hi. It's our um, offer. Unfortunately, we have our house girl back here. <laughs> um, yes, our special guest, special needs guest. Introduce oh. yourself, honey. Tara Kardashian knows it all. Okay, one word. Got it's up. like Madonna, Prince. Yeah. Oh my Baby. god. I can't wait for a letter as it's not via card. No, it's not. <laughs> it's via video game. Yeah, quite. Okay, let's go. Okay, here let's we go. go. Hit it. I have a lot of friends that backstab each other. And I'm always stuck in the middle. Do I simply be the messenger or just stab them back? Well, that was required depressing levels, wasn't it? She says she's stuck in the middle, you know, like Piggy in the middle. I really sympathise with her problem. No, the difference being, we tell you straight. Yeah, you know? that's the only difference is you front stab me. That's right. Mm. My advice yeah. is, you know, if people are backstabbing you here and people are backstabbing you from over there, chances are they're backstabbing you as well. And I think that you just need to keep it. This is, it's like a virus, huh? When you think a color about people, it's like a virus. And next thing you know, disease. And next thing you know, death. 
That's a tragedy. Death of um, France. And you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Cool nga mer, ah. Cool nga mer. Oh, that was phenomenal. I agree. What do you think? The uh, thing is, you're always in the middle. Well, I love backstabbing people. Why? It's so much fun. Buddy said your advice was really stank. No, I didn't. That's not backstabbing. Yeah, and I can hear. Then look, look over there. Look over there. She said your advice was really stank. Speaking of stank, where's your pull? Put it back in again. Yeah. Where's your pull it back in again? What do you mean? Chew it harder. This person said this about that person. Yeah. That person said this about that person. Mm -hmm. Who cares? Yes, word, Happiness word, girl, word. word. Yeah. Happiness is right number one. Absolutely. Oh, and who cares if you've got no friends like Tyra? Yeah, that's what made you stronger. Right. <gasps> Look, Mr. Fresh. Hey, Fanny, how are you guys doing? Oh, oh we're very good now. So I'm Mike Rankin. I am 23, and surprise, surprise, I'm Sam Warren. 23, same age. Let me just. I moved over to New Zealand in 2007, so I guess I'd, I'm six years fresh. And uh, I CrossFit. CrossFit is uh, constantly varied functional movements performed at high intensity, so we do a whole bunch of things. Basically, we want to be good at everything. We don't um, specialize in any particular area of fitness. We, we do running, we do gymnastics, we do Olympic lifting, we do power lifting, we do everything. I'm a mix of everything in terms of my heritage, but um, at heart, I'm Sam one. I grew up there. It's shaped the person that I am today. Any sort of Pacific Island that I see that's doing something in the community, doing something good with their lives, um, bettering themselves and the community, that for me is where I draw inspiration from. Aww. I know a lot of islanders are quite religious and strong with their religion and with their faith. Being fit, in my opinion, is all about being faithful. You can't be spiritually healthy and mentally healthy. You also need to be physically healthy. So there's no point in living life below average. You've got to be the best that you can be. You know you're fresh when you think taro is a vegetable. It is a vegetable. It is a vegetable, it is. It is vegetable sweetheart. I have no idea what it is, man. It's, it's good. What? Did he just say he loves taro? No. He said taro. It's a natural steroid, man. That's why islanders are so big. Because they eat a lot of taro. It's, he's backstabbing me. No, he's yeah. saying it straight to your face. He's got to be my favorite. Yeah, he is. You just... know, he really made sense, didn't he? He, did, he did. I so love it. it. The heart. only thing is, yes, taro is a vegetable. And you too will be a vegetable if you do not take Mr. Fresh's advice. I want some taro. Get off the couch I want some and do something. Right now. Run to the fridge. I want some nice. Run to the I want like some Don't Don't forget to send in your letters. Absolutely. Email, video, video text, them, yes, braille, them. smoke signals. To us. Tyra loves you. Hi there, you just caught me enjoying my downtime here at work, rolling around an office chair on a marble floor. Now, coming up, we've got a very talented crew of dancers. Let me tell you a little story about me and my journey with dance. I was once very good at dance. Uh, when I was 12, every school social, I would go along and win the female breakdancing uh, prize, which was always a CD single. All I would do is go into the breakdancing circle, do a bit of robot, and then a bit of the worm. Still got it. These guys are a bit more talented, though. Let's check out Mythical. It's different from other plays, seeing that it's a promenade theatre, so you don't just stay in one spot and you just keep on moving, and it's always exciting for the audience. It keeps it fresh, keeps it new. The theme is mythical creatures, so we're taking um, mythical myths and legends from different islands and putting them on the theatre stage and showing it and portraying it through dark. Performing our Heaven and Earth piece, which was inspired by Aho Eitu and the Falefa. We are going to be fooled by our makeup. Perfect teeth. Just because we don't have gold teeth. <laughs> we are definitely tired. So it's kind of how we envision the gods to look like. They're really scared of us. I don't know why we're not that scary. They just, you know, want to keep their distance and watch. I'm a wicked witch of the underworld, so I'm a mythical legend. My name is Hine Nui Te Po. I'm looking for a face to replace my own. I'm 
kind of scary. Man, she's freaky. I am playing Belle, the fire goddess of Hawaii. Belle was someone who was really seductive and she um, would steal or seduce a lot of men by hypnotizing them with her hip. I am in the Nafanua piece, who is the goddess of war, and uh, we're the two servants. It's about to get down. Nerves is a hard thing to get rid of, but once you get on stage, it's go time. There's no holding back. You've got to give it 100%. I think it's something new and fresh um, that hasn't been told before. I love the crowd interaction. Like, when they were talking to us, it made you feel part of the show as well. It kind of scared me a bit. But, uh, you know, like I've got the tough, uh, tough heart. Just the music, the singing, the harmony, it was mm. really good. It helped us connect to the performance as well. It's awesome, it was good. Something different, mm. something mythical. <laughs> well, there you have it. I hope you had a good time. I had a very good time hosting and giving you a bit of a tour of TVNZ and, of course, my front yard. I hope you're excited for next week because this is what's coming up then. What's up, Freshies? My name is Beulah Kuali. And I'm Joe Fuller. Welcome to Otara. Oh, wow. What is that? <laughs> what do you want to be eight? This is a good appetite. This is Joe. is Urban. Seki out fresh. <laughs> all right, well, that's all the time we have this week. But I thought I'd end on a bit of a song. This song was written for a very special someone. You know who you are. I know you, but you've never met me. I watch you every night on my TV screen. I've seen you out with other girls, I know you like to mingle, but your IMDb profile still assures me you are single. Robbie Magasiva, Robbie Magasiva. smart, you're intelligent, that's the same thing, and you're mighty fine, plus you are someone and my parents would like that I'm a getting back to my cultural heritage, which I've denied for years, denied for years, just like me, or you, denied for years, please and press charges. Fresh was made with the funding of New Zealand on Air. That's what's make me famous on the TV. Thank you.